And guys, we like the scene. Looking good there. We should be able to get started here momentarily. Stand by. And Tom, back with you real quick. I think you were trying to talk on the mic, but I think it might have been off. Could you uh, give another comm check real quick? Okay, comm check. Five, four, three, two, one. How do you copy? And we're hearing you. This is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Everybody loud and clear. Station is ready for the event. Kathy Leaders, this is Mission Control, Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Hey, I think we already did that. I think hey, I, I think we already did that. Oh, I, I apologize. We, did that. we can hear you loud and clear. Thank you. Tom, I don't know if you muted again. The microphone is, is on and we uh, read you loud and clear and we're ready to speak with you. Okay, well, I had an old boss who's his, uh, his greatest praise was when you heard him say, nicely done. Old? <laughs> oh, well, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, all I can say is uh, nicely done. And, and to the whole team, um, the SpaceX, Axiom, station team, and, uh, you know, Mike here, uh, I know that the, ex the Expedition 67 crew is very happy to see your crew. Um, I know Mike and I are very happy to see all of you there and, and seeing the new crew coming on board, um, looking so uh, healthy and happy to be there. And I'm personally very happy to see how, how good the Expedition 67 crew looks also. Raja, I didn't know you grew a mustache. So um, it's, it's, always, it's always fun to see um, our crews there getting ready to go do a lot of work. I know the team has a lot of things lined up to do over this next week, and uh, this is gonna be important for us to be able to work as a team for our Expedition 67 folks to get the important work that they need to get done. But then Mike, obviously your team to be able to get their work done too. So we're looking forward to see all the exciting things that are going to be going on and, uh, and then seeing everybody make it safely home. In just a short momentary handover, we'll get that communication back real quickly with the space station and then continue through our welcome.
So, Mike, do you have a few words? And Houston, I believe we're back with you. Hey, Tom, this is uh, this is stuff. Can you guys hear us? It's good to hear yourself. We can read you loud and clear. Great. Well, first, um, let me let me thank you and uh, Exposition 67 crew for uh, welcoming our crew on board. Um, we're very excited to uh, to be there, of course. Uh, Mike, Larry, Aton, Mark, you guys look great. Uh, the the uh, dragon ride looks like uh, uh, that sat with you well. Uh, so um, first, I'll say uh, thanks to our to our SpaceX team for getting you there. Uh, we that was really awesome. Uh, my thanks to NASA for uh, for hosting us and to the entire crew. You know, we've been talking about this uh, history making mission for a long time. So we're going to stop talking about it now and just get on with it. So uh, you guys have a great, uh, a great mission. We we'll look forward to it. And uh, and with that, I'll hand it over to uh, L.A. to uh, do the pinning ceremony. Hey, Mike and Kathy. Uh Thanks for greeting us on board. I got to tell you, this is, it's quite an experience. Um, I, I can't even begin to describe how fun it's been to be in Dragon for the last day and a half or so, watching um, these guys' faces light up. True story, you know, we had just reached uh, orbit and getting out of our suits, and I was, you know, busy at uh, doing commander stuff, and one by one, I could hear them say, expletive deleted as soon as they looked out the window literally every single one of them and i just smiled a little bit and then when i got my turn to look at it same expletive it's just an amazing experience anyway um you know there's a tradition that when you cross a certain boundary and that boundary is debatable but in the united states it's 50 miles uh you become an astronaut in altitude and uh, that happened to these three gentlemen for the first time yesterday. Um, it was a pretty exciting moment. We were in the middle of first stage, but we noted it. And now I'd like to note it a little more officially. Um, there is a very special pin that NASA astronauts wear that is gold and designed by the original Mercury 7. But um, until recently, there has been no internationally recognized pin. So. None of the other five, or I should say other four space agencies, nor do the Chinese that I know of have a symbol that people wear in civilian clothes for, um, for commemorating that they're astronauts. So a little while ago, the Association of Space Explorers, which encompasses a lot of members from 38 different countries of flown astronauts, uh, decided to commission such a pin. And I happen to have three of them in my hand. Tom, would you break them out for me? And uh, when I pin these on, I think the numbers will be 582, 583, and 584, respectively, for uh, Larry, Aton, and Mark. I hope they will wear these with the pride that they deserve. And then I'm going to let Larry say something while I pin his, etc. Yeah, well, first off, uh, probably words don't describe it. I mean, I'm thrilled and honored to be up here. Thanks to SpaceX, phenomenal ride. I mean, no pun intended, but out of this world. Thanks to uh, Axiom for making this uh, dream come true. Thanks to NASA. Thanks to all the crew. Unbelievably uh, welcome. And yeah, we're here to experience this. But we understand there's a responsibility, and the responsibility is for this first civilian crew to get it right. And that's what we're fully committed to with the support of everybody here at the ISS and, uh, and on the ground. So it's going to be a busy week of research for us, and uh, I'm sure it's going to fly by. And now I'd like to turn it over to my friend, Aton. I'll take the opportunity. I need to press something. I think it's To say a few words in Hebrew on the International Space Station. Buchim abayim le tachanat achalal abin lomit pam rishona sheefshar le daber po beivrit 
זכינו להיות חלק מצוות של 11 שנקרא Expedition 67. זה, זה קבוצת עבודה שתעבוד ביחד, כולנו ביחד נעזור אחד לשני להשיג את המטרות, כל אחד בא עם תוכנית עבודה מלאה, ובהצלחה לכולם, בהצלחה לרקיע. מרק. here at the ISS for the warm welcome. It was uh, really great to be looking up uh, through the closed hatch and see you guys making your way to us and then to come on board and, and be so, uh, so warmly greeted by all of you. That was great, thanks a lot. And looking forward to spending the next uh, few days, sorry, I, I got to forget to, to look, look up there. Um, next few days here with all of you. And uh, wow, it's just amazing to be here. Um, It's, it's hard to find, find the words, but uh, it's been an amazing journey, and I don't, I'm not just talking about the last 24 hours, I'm talking about uh, everything that's got us here. It's, it's, been, it's been amazing, and thanks to, to uh, Mike and all the folks at Axiom uh, for, uh, for hatching this plan and, and getting it going, and, and to SpaceX and NASA for, uh, for making it happen as well. Thanks, everyone. And, and, and sorry, last but definitely not least, uh, all my family and friends who, uh, whose love and support made this possible. And we just want to say the uh, Expedition 67 crew, all of us are incredibly thrilled and excited to welcome Axiom on board. And uh, on this historic uh, day for uh, continued, we expect long-term uh, cooperation with uh, NASA, with our international partners, and with private companies and private astronauts. So we are ready to go to work. Thank you. Godspeed, everybody. Thank you, guys. Have fun. Okay, with that, AX-1 officially welcomed on board the International Space Station. So it was a very 